Okay, it is week three of Season of the Deep. I'm going to try my best to explain clearly how to do tier seven, which is very important as you need it for the title, Aquanaut, which will give you pressurized deep. By doing a tier seven, doing a pressure trial in each encounter will let you get this triumph. So I'm going to try my best to go over everything that I know. Uh, I did it uh, with a match made, which I got lucky as it was a duo and they were doing it on the first day as well. So it, but it is, let me state this very clearly, it is very, very hard to do. You do need to be a bit of a power level, but 18, 20, 18, 15, around there to survive. But it's very hard, and I'm going to show you guys how the run went here. Okay, so in order to get tier 7, you have to do the Tolan Orb, the orb that spawns at the beginning of every encounter, all three times that finish the darkness uh, encounter, the uh, extra thing you need to do per encounter so every time you start an encounter is the first one right here you have to go and find the totem now i don't have every location of each totem that's the difficult very hard for me to actually do that and show that but you have to look around and find a white orb this could be anywhere in the first main area for the encounter so right now everybody has to go ahead and interact with the orb and this will trigger out and, and invoke darkness so now on your screen the darkness awaits for invocation you have to do this in a minute so right now this is now let me explain this again it is random for each encounter each darkness even though this encounter right now we're doing is hacking the terminals it could be something completely different plus also the darkness invoke invocation is going to be different as well so right now as we finish the darkness invoked now clear the encounter as you normally would but be fast because once you finish the normal encounter there will be the pressure trial following it after so if you take too long and you don't finish the pressure trial then you will not get the tier upgrade it will still finish the encounter and you continue to the next encounter but you have to still uh finish the pressure trial within the time you get now there is predators you can kill Wrath of Predators, that like gives you plus 15 seconds each time you kill one. So you do have ways to get extra time. Plus also, if you have the he heavy ammo box uh, upgrade, then that will also get you plus five seconds each time somebody does it. So there's also that my extra, extra time. So this uh, right now is still the first encounter. Um, it is still going on real quick. So when we finish this one, so we just finished the uh, first part. Now it's in the top left there. Pressurized trial, clear hostile. So this one normally is going to spawn the yellow bars on the left here. And you gotta go ahead and just clear them. So save your supers, your supers at the same time, whatever, all that stuff. Um, and we have two minutes, seconds, so we have extra a lot of time here. Uh, just make sure you just you're just when you're clearing three yellow bars mostly, and all the orange bars that spawn in. Um, once you do this, then you get, you finish the first encounter for the pressure trial. Then you're gonna head to the next encounter, which will be the encounter two, and you have to go ahead and do the same thing you did for encounter one. So once you've done everything successfully. Right, you'll see new objective and you see on the, on the left there you can see it right there under drifting apart reward tier three so as long as you've done this correctly you'll have reward tier three now i'm going to go ahead and head over to the next encounter um and go ahead get the next roguelike buff here and do the same thing you just did and find the tone or everybody on the fire team has to do it so i guess i didn't make this um sorry i didn't make this clear last time People are going to be confused. Tier 2. This is tier two. This is going to be for Tier 5, right? The orb will spawn in a sp one of the five set spots. So we're looking around right now, looking for the orb. It could spawn here. It could spawn in the middle. It could spawn on the right. It could spawn on the left. You just got to make sure you find it. That's all there was. there is to it. Once you find it, everybody should come towards you. If there's a message, message does pop up in the text on the bottom left. Not all yet. Uh, lure hasn't been found or anybody found the, found the, lure, the lure yet now this one's a bit difficult now you could get anyway you get blights you could get uh blights or this one um this one is the uh the darkness one um you have to find i think five uh things to stand in and it's not random it's always the same spots but if you don't know them it's a bit difficult uh yeah the pressurized blight one or exercising the pressurized blights so this one it's one of the harder ones because you have to find them and hope to not die because now everything is dagger difficulty. I don't know what the exact number for that one is, but it should be like one in the middle, one on the right, or two on the right, two, one in the middle, and one on, and two on the left. I think it's five total. Um, 
No, it looks, it's not, it's not a definitive guide to show all locations of these because it, it could be different for everybody, a different encounter uh, for this, for everybody. But you can see here, represent more pressure uh, blades here on the left side of the map. While also remember, you also can't just one focus on this. You have to also do the encounter as you don't have infinite time um, for this one and everything hurts as well. So this one, we have to go ahead and kill the blade of the deeps uh, three times and once you kill three of the blades the blade of the deeps then you go ahead and um and then you gotta make sure it says darkness invoked you gotta you have to make sure that it does say that if it doesn't say that then you do not continue the tier you don't actually progress it correctly i think that's one of the confusing things you have to make sure that it does say darkness invoked and then it should pop up at the end you're doing a pressure trial basically uh, that's this is how it works pretty much and it's always and a, lot, a lot of variants so i say random i would say random but it's a lot of variant different uh combinations you get it, every run won't be the same that's what i could tell you there would be there's so much variance with all of this uh encounters and the darkness thing it's very random there is not much much definitive guide where i could show everything it's nearly impossible unless somebody has the time all the time in the world to do this like multiple times with multiple with the same people i don't have that this is just random people now this is this isn't this part right here isn't pressure 12 for this encounter uh, this is just the end encounter so just make sure you kill this uh fall on captain for whatever you if you do get this one for the blade one but then the pressure this is the pressure trial right here the pressure trial spawns in right here top left but to go ahead and kill uh this break here or it is brute. Now difficult, a bit difficult. He hurts a lot. Only three minutes to kill it, so no big deal. So once you kill it, you should see now on the, on the left side, you should see tier five. Now that now you're on good track. There's still one more thing to do, which is we'll will be doing the tier five, uh, a tier five, a tier seven during the encounter, which will be very very hard. We barely beat it with this match made three. Now I'll do a full run here. Uh, showing you guys because i'd be a little, a little bit confused um on how to do the operation fulgurite as i pronounce it um people are a bit confused on the direction of where to go for this um very simply the way this uh deep dive or this water traversal works is that you find a lever right you drop down you pull a lever the door opens up behind you basically so you see on the, on the right there the people the match made the pull lever on the on that wall right there and what that does it opens a door behind us so if you drop down on the right door instead of the left door which i did also a flower here if you want to find that um the door should open as you can see right over here to the right basically so there it is right there so that lever opens a door for that door right there then we're gonna continue on and head downwards for this path over here down the red tube now i was looking for the flower but i couldn't find it. i found it but not not there so you want to keep heading head keep keep going forward here and head down now they're going backwards because you're supposed to pick a, a there's a lever straight ahead uh, i don't know exactly where it is you should hear it beeping i think it's on the wall to the left there i found it in the uh just the flower there for the last one for the triangle lever right there on the right side and a door should be open there that that's how you traverse uh this encounter or this water underwater part is lever pull lever then go backwards pull lever then go backwards that's just how uh the encounter works pretty much now like i've said many times for tier seven you have to find the tolan orb now this is very new and i only know one location there's, there's multiple locations probably but the one we found it or i the guy found it is going to be on the left side under a cave so we're looking for it right now which wastes a bit of time without actually doing something so this guy's shooting us because he found it or oh, they found it and right now it's in this cave i, I don't know if it's always going to be there but that's just one of the spots look i can't show every spot this is that one i've only done one tier seven run pretty much and the one we got here will be blights so this one's probably the easiest one to get other than the other one other blight as well but this one if you have a confusion rifle you could one shot it pretty much with your fusion rifle, heavy fusion rifle, 
And once you do that, you should be able to see the darkness invoked um, once you kill both the blades. I think there's only two for this one. There we go. Now you got to clear as you normally do. This is very, very hard uh, of randoms, especially today, which is, uh, I think it's, is it famine? No, it's not famine. It's the other one. We have to be near a teammate uh, to get healed. I always forget what it's called, but it's one of them. So this one is very difficult. Uh, I think it's the same um, encounter each time. Core devour, coral devourer. Er, you gotta pick up the orb and then dunk it for the most part. So there's that. So this is where it gets very difficult. There's a, we're now we're a minute thirty in um, for this encounter here, and it is very difficult. We're running out of time here. There were some wrathful predators that do spawn. Now, at this point, uh, it will say pressure trial. It will defeat uh, these interlopers here. Now, the yellow bars, uh, which are <laughs> very, very scary uh, for the most part. This is where it gets like we're running out of time here. And this is not the last part. Is There is still more after this part. So make sure you use your supers here. Generate uh, orbs for your team. Uh, you know, get some orb generation going here. Now, it's getting pretty scary. You have a minute left here, right? And we're working towards this right now. There's still more 50 seconds left, but there are raffle predators that do spawn. So this part here, what we've been doing for the first encounter is doing the exact same thing. When you kill the yellow bar, the giant taken knight, he'll drop two balls. You know, dunk the two balls. So there's two of them. There's one on one side, on the left side, and one in the middle. And you gotta make sure you kill the um and then dunk the orbs. Now, like there is raffle predators that do spawn, but they are scary because they are yellow yellow bar taken hobgoblins so they will do if you shoot them you'll get shot back blah, blah 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 and everything hurts a lot and you don't heal because of the modifier which would be probably easier on a different day or different week i mean but today is a bit difficult with this modifier where you can't really heal so uh there is that so once we kill the raffle we have an extra 15 seconds here which i barely got that on time there they have to go ahead and kill uh the guy killed one Oh, killed the knight and we have two dunked already and got lucky that the other guy picked it up and then just barely pressure we've got the 15 seconds left it is difficult if i mean if, if you're if a lfj team and you're more coordinated than i am this is just match me like i've said uh that gave us the final triumph there for pressurized trials and uh i say i uh, gg to that so we gotta go with that and it doesn't really matter if you finish this or not. It, you can die. It, it, the boss is always a bit difficult with this high difficulty, but uh, it, it's sort of just completed, completed to get the tier 7 rewards. So, finishing the boss here, you can see we've got Deep Sea Locksmith for doing all three bosses. And then we also get finishing this, you see, see tier 7 rewards here. Checking out Deep Sea. Deep, 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 I didn't have Deep Dive Key. So, Deep. With tier 7 bonus chests. There's our rewards there. Enhancement core. Enhancement presume. I mean. And then deep 7 gave us a red border. I don't know. Guaranteed. But I see pressurized deep finish there. And that's it for the title. And that's it. That's what we got. That's only need. Mainly only needed for the triumph. Which is for the title. Uh, for the season. So hopefully you guys find this useful. Just a little information here. Um, but this is what tier 7 is. And it's. Honestly, I mean, I do like a challenge. It reminds me of Reckoning a little bit. Tier 1, Tier 2, Tier 3. Uh, I got lucky with a duo. Uh, LFG by... Uh, not LFG. Duo match made. So they were actually doing the orbs and a little bit, bit smarter than uh, regular random people. So lucky. But anyways, uh, that's it for that. And uh, hopefully you enjoy... Hopefully you found it useful. You enjoy that.